name is Emma Marston, and I'm the interpretive curator here at the Kinder House. And today, I wanted to give you a closer look at uh, the bookcase here in our sitting room. As a place for recreation, the sitting room would have been a place for the family to gather together and enjoy various kinds of entertainment, including games, reading, and music, as the contents of this bookcase show. The Kinders enjoyed reading and may have enjoyed some of the popular turn-of-the-century novels that are represented here on the shelf, like works by Charles Dickens and Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Tabletop games were also popular. The shelf includes several sets of dominoes in a tabletop nine-pin set. Much like modern bowling, nine pins involve setting up on a table or the floor and attempting to knock down as many of the pins as possible. The 1897 Kodak camera sitting on the shelf represents another pastime that was gaining popularity around the turn of the century. While cameras had existed for many years prior, they were often bulky, expensive, and required specialized skills to develop film into prints. George Eastman Kodak changed that by creating a flexible roll of film that made photography much cheaper, easier, and more accessible to the average consumer. While the early flexible film and box cameras didn't produce the highest quality images, the simplified design meant that anyone could take pictures and simply send the camera back to the factory for the film to be developed. This led to the company's original slogan, you press the button, we do the rest. 